If you didn't watch part one, please watch it first. You're watching the operation of the permanent magnet three-phase motor. This is the output test of the fully assembled test system. In this video, the turbine shaft and the motor shaft are connected. Then, let's look at the actual voltage of the three-phase generator. A three-phase alternator has two types of connections, and we're going to measure and compare the output voltages of each of them. The delta connection of a three-phase generator generates a relatively low voltage and a high current compared to the star connection, whereas the star connection produces a high voltage and a low current. I will test the delta connection first. This is the delta connection of the generator terminal. The red box is a power analyzer, and the left multimeter reads the output voltage of the generator. Let's start the real power output test now. I'm using a permanent magnet synchronous motor with a variable frequency inverter. I will increase the inverter frequency by 10 Hertz. The output is 30.86 volt at 300 RPM 20 Hertz. Next target frequency is 30 Hertz. The output is 46.4 volts at 450 RPM. Power consumption increases as the number of revolutions increases. The output is 61.9 volt at 600 RPM. In this voltage measurements, the output pattern is linear. That means the voltage is output in proportion to the number of revolutions. 77.33 volt at 750 RPM 50 Hz and consuming 298 watt. 92.28 volt at 900 RPM 60 Hz. When the frequency increases by 10 Hz, the voltage rises by 15.3 volts. So this pattern is linear. 108.1 volt at 1050 RPM. One hundred twenty three point five volt at twelve hundred RPM. This voltage is used in the United States. Next target frequency is ninety Hertz. Hundred and thirty eight point eight volt at thirteen fifty RPM. 154.1 volt at 1500 RPM. One sixty nine point two volt at 1650 RPM. Next target frequency is one twenty hertz. 184.4 volt at 1800 RPM. 199.5 volt at 1949 RPM. 
214.6 volt at 2100 RPM. The voltage continues to rise in proportion to the number of revolutions. Two hundred twenty nine point five volts at twenty two fifty RPM. Two hundred forty four point four volts at twenty four hundred RPM. 259.3 volt at 2549 RPM. 268.7 volt at 2649 RPM and no more increased. The output pattern is linear and max voltage is 268 volt. I will stop the delta connection output test now. The turbine surface temperature was heated to 56.3 degrees, although the generator output was not used. The voltage of the star connection will be higher than that of the delta connections. This is the star connection. Let's start the second test by increasing it by 10 Hz. This test is expected to measure a higher voltage than the previous test. The output is 53.41 volt at 300 RPM 20 Hz. The output is 80.27 volt at 450 RPM. 30 Hz. This voltage is 34 volt higher than the delta case. Already reached 100 volt. One thirty three point seven volt at seven fifty RPM. This voltage is 56 volt higher than the delta case. One hundred sixty point three volt at nine hundred RPM. One hundred eighty seven volt at ten fifty RPM. Two thirteen point seven volt at twelve hundred RPM. 240.2 volt at 1350 RPM. This voltage is 101 volt higher than the delta case. 266.7 volt at 1500 RPM. 293.1 volt at 1650 RPM. 319.3 volt at 1800 RPM. 
345.4 volts at 1950 RPM. Three seventy one point seven volts at twenty one hundred RPM. This voltage is one hundred and fifty seven volt higher than the Delta case. The gap is enlarging. Three ninety seven point three volt at twenty two fifty RPM. Wow. The output voltage is over 400 volts. It's dangerous. The output is 423.2 volt at 2400 RPM, 160 Hertz. System uses 1494 watt now. Four hundred forty eight point six volt at twenty five fifty RPM. Four sixty nine volt at twenty six six nine RPM. Above 180 Hertz, the RPM and voltage are no longer increased, and also the power consumption was not increased. So this experiment stops here. The output is linear according to RPM, and the star connection produces high voltages. This is the generator terminal connection view. This is an actual load test. This heating lamp is 500 watts for 220, 240 volts. There are six in total, so the capacity is three kilowatt. -er. This is the final assembly view. This test shows the actual output power of the generator. As a result of multiple power tests, the performance of this generator is very good. I will turn this system off now. My contents enrich your knowledge. Thank you for your watching. Please subscribe and like.